walking, talking camera and a walking, talking uh, audio microphone that can be seen through and heard through. And uh, the, uh, it's important to note that this is not just a program that's run, that the federal government is involved, and this is obvious based on the capabilities of the program and the scope and scale of the program. We're talking about the entire city, downtown, and many of the boroughs that are under the influence not only of this technology, but are under the influence of a surveillance program. Linked by, by to the remote people. neural connection system, an AI-run mind control system with synthetic telepathy and electromagnetic torture. Complete intercepted monitoring of everything you see with your eyes, hear with your ears, touch, taste, speech, and even your innermost thoughts are available for monitoring, display, and computing, and output to a video screen. With this technology, you become a human transmitter, and everything you think, see, say, feel, or do may be recorded and displayed in real time. Frequency, brain frequency, so that they're able to perceive and interact with that realm and have that realm actually interact with them and take like partial possession. Or and this is not a joke, and that's true. This is the true state of technology today. You can see why the powers that be want to keep this ultimate human being tracking and thought control system a secret for as long as biological cameras that could encode it into the DNA and you could uh, and you could have uh, very exhaustive uh, archives of this. It is used to um, look through eyes and ears so that basically every walking human being in the city is a walking talking camera and a walking talking uh, audio microphone that can be seen through and heard through. And nobody seems to notice, nobody seems to care. That's what the honors count on, the fact that Americans will probably remain willfully ignorant. The real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. If we have algorithms that stimulate the right things and give it the right data, they could reprogram you in a way without you even knowing it. We call it hallucinating, right? But these would be controlled uh, hallucinations run by algorithms. So you think you're in control of your own will, but it's actually some evil AI or evil people controlling everything we do, and we're more like zombies. You have their minds linked up for life with conscious supercomputers. We act with them and take like partial possession or possession cases. This is now, uh, methamphetamine users being able to see these... Um, it, it Take the avatar and hang the word emulation on it. In other words, they've been tracking us, they've been reproducing us, we're reproducing our metadata for years. We can model every single atom, every single molecule with a three-dimensional structure in every single brain. They claim they've modeled the personality of every adult in the United States, 230 million people because it's a very dangerous situation to have powerful and active enemies working against you and not even be aware that you have those enemies. The enemies that we face are not persons of flesh and blood, but they are invisible spirit beings. M's are very much like humans, but they are not like the typical human. The typical M is a copy of the few hundred most productive humans. If you construct a model of the human brain, you, human mind, thus you are able to control that human mind with artificial neurons and then have those minds connected. Essentially the CIA is attempting to use artificial intelligence, AI, to really control the population. And I know it sounds so Orwellian, it sounds science fiction, even to say these things, and yet that has been the primary focus of companies. Focusing really on brain-computer interfaces and on advanced methods for neural state decoding to interpret the signals that come out of our brains and relate them to behavior and cognition. For neurocomputation operating, operating on the cloud through a web API interface in real time. So you can push your biosignals to the cloud through a few API calls. Then we have a large amount of sophisticated signal processing that's spun up to make sense of that data. And then with a few more lines of code through, again, a simple REST API, you can get back a meaningful result. And all that happening in real time. It's a, a scary proposition to think that every biosignal from us will...